This is Hopped Up. stands a symbol of craft beer, Mr. Head's Art Gallery and Bar. You've been supplied with a false idol. Let me tell you, in the words of Big Beer themselves, it doesn't matter the output capacity of the brewery. What matters is the brewery. And do you accept this explanation? We take Tucson from the corrupt and the rich, and we give it back to you, the people. We start by entering this bar. Step forward, those who would drink. Kegs will be tapped. Glasses will be filled. Beer will be spilled and you will learn to serve true justice to your palate. Yes. Let the drinking begin! No, brother! You expect one of us to drive. Shit. Can I get a straw? It's kind of a play off my uh, glass blowing company's name, which is Fathead Glass. Uh, since um, I got rid of the retail shop and expanded the bar, yeah. um, it was kind of so I have an opportunity to lock myself in a room and, and blow glass without <laughs> nice. every five minutes someone tapping on my shoulder. So I want to do more with glass. You know, with any art, any medium that you do, um, you never want to stay in, in one spot. You, know, you want to grow as an artist. So I'm trying to do that. Um, I'm going to be getting uh, glass crucibles so I can start doing chandeliers and custom lights. And if we can just get a shot of this glass here, because obviously you made this thing yourself, and yes. it's pretty freaking awesome. It's, it's a fun drinking glass. Yeah. <laughs> opportunity came up for me to be able to open the bar uh, I decided to do a bar that we can kind of feature local artists because yeah. artwork is what helped me come up so um, all the artwork we're doing a photography show right now it's our second one generally it's all paintings um, the bar top is filled with uh, local people who do jewelry or even small paintings yeah. we've got hand-blown glass in there um, everything that sells out of the bar is all 100% to the artist nice. so it's kind of my way to give back to the art community very cool we got a good opportunity through it so and so what do you say to local artists that want to bring their work and what do you what kind of quality of stuff do you want to come in here we want we want quality for sure yeah. um, but there's a, a ton of amazing artists in Tucson so uh, come by on Sundays between 1 and 4 talk to Jordan he coordinates all 
of our artwork, and uh, um, you know, we switch our shows out about every two months. At yeah, sixth and fourth, man, you feel like this is a good location for you. I love the location. Fourth Avenue has always kind of been a destination spot for me. Mm -hmm. So when I started my glass shop, I wanted to be on fourth. Um, I like it better than downtown or university area, just because if you go to most of the businesses on fourth, you'll meet the owner. Like the owner's in there working. Uh, it's a little less corporate. It's a little more about the local business and local art. Right. Know? So that's that's why I love this area. You guys have an excellent tap selection. I mean, it's always rotating. It's always exciting to come in here. And your daily specials. There's a weekly special. Like we have a you know four dollar mug or a three dollar yep. pint. It's usually a pretty damn good beer. Well, we do that uh, Monday through Friday, one to eight. Nice. It's always uh, three dollar uh, pints and uh, four dollar mugs. And then after eight, it goes up a dollar for each. Um, we got pretty well known for our two dollar twenty ounce PBR, or we have our special, which is the Heads One Two, yeah. which is a PBR and a well whiskey shot for four bucks. That's not bad at all. So how do you choose your tap selection? What makes you pick those different beers out and seek them out? Well, that's probably why I'm about twenty pounds overweight. <laughs> it's uh, lots of sampling, so. Uh, we always try beers when we opened. Um, before we opened, it was actually a, a pretty grueling process. Um, you would think that just trying uh, a bunch of beers would be fun, you know, beers and liquor. But uh, when you're trying to build a business and do all the paperwork and you know map out how to run the water lines, all this craziness, and you're still sampling like 30 <laughs> different drinks a day is uh, is pretty hard. Um, but it's tough uh, work, but somebody's got to do it. Oh, you know, the, the notes were hilarious. Those were the best because we would start. <laughs> Like this one night, we tried 40 beers. There was a bunch of us. So it was like beer shots, or you know, it's yeah. not like we we're drinking 40 whole beers. But um, we, we, we did our yeah. best to do that. But you oh, know, challenge accepted. Uh, so we had a little piece of paper and with each, each beer name on it. And you know, the first like five had a nice description. The second right. five was a little lighter. By the end, it was just like a number five with a circle. <laughs> like this is a five. Yeah. We we'll always try and find uh, you know local beers if we can that are good. And we've had some come in and out as they lost uh, popularity. But um, we like to have a very unique beer selection. Um, we'll never have like uh, Bud Light on tap or you know because we want it to be a little more creative than that um, for like our cheaper beer on draft that's why we do the, the PBR um, but besides that it's gonna be you know quality beers it's gonna be craft beers um, you know it's a little more intimate because we get to meet the brewers and actually talk to them about the process which they, they make the beer and uh, it's, it's fun to see them get excited you know when they talk about their product and they're like oh then we do this and yeah. you know um, so, so that's really fun you know something that's happening tonight too is uh, open mic night and you know, why do you guys do something like that to embarrass people. Right off. No, just kidding. Um, <laughs> we have uh, well, some of the guys from Laughs, uh, Kevin Lee, um, set it up with us, and we've been doing the open mic comedy for over a year, and it's actually a really popular night. Uh, we get a great crowd on Wednesday nights. Um, the majority of the comedians are hilarious. Not everyone uh, does shining every time. I've even gotten up there a couple times. Uh, you'll probably see Jericho tonight. He's uh, one of the bar managers here. He gets a, he does a great job. Um, it's just something a little different. You know, I was doing that on fourth, and uh, we're friends with all those dudes, and they're like, "Hey, I think about a comedy night." So, yeah. you know, nice. we tried it out, and it's, it's been real yeah. successful. All right, so Micah, you can drink any beer with any famous person. Who are you gonna have a beer with, and what kind of beer are you gonna have with them? All right. Well, the beer is an easier answer than the person. So the beer is what I'm drinking right now, and. Uh, I call it the Head 60-40 blend, or they call it the Boss's Beer. It's 60% uh, uh, Rogue Hazelnut and 40% uh, Breckenridge Vanilla Porter. Awesome combination. So you're the right beer now. mixing? And if it's uh, limited to one beer, possibly two, I would say uh, Hunter Thompson. I'm sure he's got some interesting uh, drinking stories I'd like to hear, but um, as the night went on, I'm, it might weird me out. Yeah. Not a little bit of a chess match again. thing where you kind of Go. Yeah. <laughs> so, what is the best decision you've ever had drinking a beer? And then also, what's the worst decision you've ever had drinking a beer? I'll make it easy. Same answer. Opening a bar. <laughs> <laughs> and it's been so much fun. I'm, I'm blessed with like an amazing staff. I really feel like one of the best bar staffs I can have. They're all yeah. super good people, super trustworthy, and you know the whole bar operates like we're a big family. Um, the bad side of it being the worst decision part is I don't ever sleep and <laughs> I drink too much and um, 
not sleeping and drinking too much is also a weird combination. But uh, yeah. Uh, but for the most part, yeah, it's it's great. Um, without getting into too many embarrassing stories, we'll we'll leave That's it at fair. that. That's fair. Uh, yeah. Save that for interview number two. Yeah, we'll save that for when we come back. All right, Micah, thank you so much, man. It's been a uh, pleasure being here. Cheers. Well, cheers to this. This is class again, dude. I'm obsessed with it. You just want to get a hit. Just want to get a taste. Just want to benefit. Every day you wake up, there's the legitimate. All right, everybody. That's been our Mr. Head's Art Gallery and Bar episode. It's good times. We had some good drinks. Now, don't forget, Wednesday nights, open mic night. Come down, have a beer, check out some comedy. First Sunday of the month is Beer Club. If you want to come down, check those out, find out from the brewers what's going on with their beers. So, we'll see you next time. If we change, it seems more like a game you can never win. I tell my people I ain't rich, but this harvest is the farthest from broken nigga.